Hi everyone, how's it going? Welcome to this tutorial. My name is Mari Carmen and I will show you how to identify the basin and the channel network from a digital elevation model using Saga GIS and QGIS. Okay, well, a basin is a topographic region in which all water drains to a common area. And we're going to identify these basins using a digital elevation model. So to begin with, we're going to add the digital elevation model. This digital elevation model is the one that we created in the in the last tutorial. It was Tlaxcala digital elevation model. If you want to know how we how we what got to this digital elevation model, you can watch the other tutorial. Um, here we have the the digital elevation model. Each pixel has elevation values. But the problem with this digital elevation model is that it is in WGS84 and we want it to be in UTM 14 North. So we're going to raster projections, warp, reproject, output file, DEM, UTM. Target SRS is going to be WGS84 UTM zone 14 north. No data values of zero because sometimes I get some weird lines here and I want this to be all good. So, okay. Okay, processing completed. And here we have the DEM in UTM. Now we're going to open Saga GIS. You have Saga GIS in your folder of QGIS. Here it is, Saga GIS. Now that you've opened Saga GIS, you're going to add the grid, the DEM in UTM coordinates. So you're in your folder, you change the, the file types to all files and now here you have your DEM in UTM. Now open it. Here you have it. If you double click on the uh, on your digital elevation model, you're going to see it in a new window. Now we want to fill the sinks of this digital elevation model. To do that, we go to geoprocessing, terrain analysis, hydrology, flow accumulate no, not flow accumulation jet. We go to pre-processing, fill sinks, Wang Liu. We're going to use this Wang Liu approach, but you can use um, the one that you think it's best for your study. So now the grid system is going to be the same as the digital elevation model. The digital elevation model will be the one in UTM coordinates. We're going to say OK, and we will wait until this process is done. We can see that it is working because here you can see this bar. Okay, now it is done, and here we have the digital elevation model with no sinks. Now we want to calculate the flow accumulation. So we go to geoprocessing. The flow accumulation will tell us the volume of water that can accumulate in a pixel. So we go to geoprocessing, terrain analysis, hydrology, flow accumulation, and then flow accumulation top down. The grid system will be the same as the ele digital elevation model. Digital elevation model with no sinks. 
and then we're going to use the deterministic aid method because it's faster and then we'll say OK. After we have created the flow accumulation raster, we're going to identify the channel network. With the flow accumulation raster, we can identify the values of the flow accumulation in our study area and then determine which, which values are relevant and we can apply a threshold. Okay, now we have our flow accumulation raster. We double click on it and say new. Okay, so we have here our flow accumulation raster. Here we have some values. And if we go closer to these values, here we have X, Y, and Z. Z will show us the flow accumulation value in cubic meters. So if you see the, the values, they are very large and we can apply a threshold of 10 million. Now we can go to geoprocessing, terrain analysis, channels, and channel network. Here we're going to use the same grid system with the elevation no sinks. Initiation grid will be flow accumulation greater than 10 million. So 10, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And then that's all and we will create it. Okay. And then we have to wait until it's done. Okay, now it's ready. Uh, if you can see, we have a channel network raster and a channel network lines or shape file. We can change the color here if we want to. I'm going to leave it in yellow. And then we are going to determine the basins. To do that, we go to geoprocessing, ter terrain analysis, hydrology, flow accumulation, outflow area, interactive. The grid system will be the same. Elevation will be the one with no sinks. And we're going to use the deterministic aid method and then say OK. Now here we have another grid, but it's empty. We are going to add the DEM with no sinks. So we open the DEM and click on upslope area, which is this window, and say OK. Now we go to maps. We are going to also open the channel network, the uh, shapefile one in upslope area. OK. Now we go to maps. And we move the upslope area 
move to top and we're going to set transparency to 65. Apply. Okay. Now, as it is an interactive tool, we're going to click on the action button, which is in here. And we're going to click on some stream. Okay, so let's see if it worked. I'm going to click on other stream. And then I'll try in the last one. Okay, so we're getting very, very small basins, maybe because I'm not clicking on the streams. So I'll go closer to the stream. Okay, so now we got the stream, uh, a basin, sorry. So if you want to have, a, you need to click on, on the stream, very close to the stream, and then you'll obtain a basin. So now we have this basin, and we want it, we want it to be in a shape file or as a vector layer. So what we're going to do is to go to geoprocessing and click on offslope area and stop the tool. So say yes. We're going to save everything, save the project. And we're going to save all of this. Okay. So now mm, we are almost there. The project has been saved. Okay, now we go to QGIS again. Here we have our DEMs and I'll open. We're going to add the upslope area, which is the basin. So we go to add raster layer and then we go to upslope area and we're going to select the stat. Yes, this is that file. Now that we have this raster, we can't see anything, but what we're going to do is to polygonize it. So we go to raster, conversion, polygonize. The input file is going to be 
the upslope area field name will be dn and the output will be basin well the first one is going to be upslope area save and okay 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 close so now here we have the basin now we have to select the basin with this tool select features by area or single click we're going to select on the on the limits of the basin and now he, we're here we have selected the basin. Now we right click on upslope area and we click on save as. File name, this one will be basin. And we're going to click on save only selected features. So now here we have our basin. Here is the DEM. We can change the style. We can change the color of the basin. We go to style. Maybe transparency. Okay. And we can also add the channel network as a vector layer. So we browse it and here it is, channel network, and it is a shapefile. So channel network, shapefile, open, open. And here we have channel network, the basin, and the elevation model. So this is all for this tutorial. If you want to know more about QGIS for water management, check out the online courses of Hatari Labs. Thank you and cheers.